it just gives barf. It gives very much throw up. Hi Hoochies and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, I am filming another fragrance video. I haven't filmed a fragrance video in Honestly, I feel like almost a year and you guys seem to really enjoy the last one. I'll plug it at the top. Um, so I figured with the spring and summer, you know, months, the warm time coming around, I should do an updated one. I've gotten a ton of new fragrances too. So I just felt like it was, you know, it was about time. It was about time. Now, I just want to put it out there. I am not a professional. I am not a connoisseur, okay? I'm just a girl who likes to smell good, and I think we all are. So I figured, you know, I think that some of these fragrances are great for beginners, or even people who already have a very, like, set collection, but are just looking to add other things. Fragrances are very personal, so obviously what works for me might not work for you, but I think this will give you a good idea as to some things that I like, and then maybe you'll like them too, and you can go test them out, smell them, see what you think, you know? So if you're interested in checking out any fragrances that I have to mention, then just keep on watching. All right, so these are in no particular order, but most of these fragrances are pretty much geared for the spring, summer, warm time um, with that coming right around the corner. I don't know about y'all, but it's 72 degrees outside in Atlanta, okay? And I'm ready to smell good, smell like the summer, smell like the palm trees, okay? I was gonna say smell like outside, but no. Anywho, so let's just get started. The first one I have to show you guys, you guys have already seen me talk about before, but it's the only one you see me talk about um, very heavily on my channel, and that is Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. This size that I have is the 3.4 fluid ounces. This is $340. This is a very expensive fragrance. I'm not gonna lie to you. Tom Ford fragrances are very expensive, and I feel like they're going up. Um, I don't know what that's about, but it smells so good. So the key notes in this, I have things written down because I'm going to describe to you the vibe that this gives me because like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't know the, the technical terms. So I'm gonna describe to you in my own words when I would wear this, what it reminds me of, what it makes me feel like, what I feel like it makes other people feel like, and then I'm gonna tell you the real stuff too. And I'm also gonna have it on the screen as well. So if you do know about that stuff, it's there for you. <laughs> so the keynotes in the Soleil Blanc are bergamot, which I do feel like I can smell that a lot. I have a lot of bergamot fragrances in my home. I just really like it. Um, so the keynotes are bergamot, pistachio, and coco de mar. So for me, this smells like a luxurious sunscreen. Okay, and I know you're like, a girl, a sunscreen, I know that doesn't sound appealing, but it literally smells like a beach, a vacation, palm trees, soaking up the sun, but not like, is that sunscreen, but like on a, on a vibe type of thing. You feel me? This is a great daytime scent. You can definitely wear it at night, but I prefer to wear this like for day parties, lunches, brunches, rooftop outings, um, if I'm going to the beach or like a pool party or anything like that. Just something daytime -y. This gives me very much fun in the sun. That is when I like to wear this fragrance. It smells so good. You guys know this is my travel must have. If I'm traveling anywhere that's got warmth, sand and water, I'm bringing this. It is amazing. It just really adds an oomph and you just smell like you belong there. You know what I mean? So yeah, I highly, highly would recommend Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. If you're gonna get any fragrance for the summer that, that really screams summer, it's this one. It's very warm and spicy. Um, and it just gives sun and luxury. That is actually Tom Ford's description or description of what they wanted this fragrance to be was very much luxurious, sunny, like sun, sun, summertime luxurious. And I really think that they hit the nail on the head because that is exactly what this gives me. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Up next is a newer fragrance to me and I love this scent. Now this scent gives me very much everyday clean and fresh, um, everyday wear, a very nice spring everyday scent. How many times can I say everyday? It is Idol or Idol by Lancome. So first of all, let's just talk about this bottle, okay? This is the world's thinnest perfume bottle. That's what they were going for. They wanted to be super innovative, but in my opinion, it is the one thing that I hate about this fragrance. It does not sit up it lays flat into me, that's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know about nobody else, but I don't like that, okay? But the bottle is gorgeous, but 
just a heads up. So this retails this size that I have here. This is the, I believe 1.7. That's my, yep, 1.7. That is my preferred size for fragrances, unless I just absolutely love them, then I'll buy a bigger size. But 1.7 is my preferred, and this is $99. So the keynotes in this are Jasmine and Rose Essence. So for me, this is a very floral fragrance, in my opinion. It has kind of like a sweet, maybe vanilla. I, I don't know if vanilla is in this. Uh, it's over here, but it gives me that vibe. Um with lots of florals danced over it. The rose and lavender are definitely very prevalent. Um, so if you are not someone who likes floral scents, you probably won't like this. But this to me just screams springtime. It's very fresh, clean, everyday wear. It's not anything that I would say is very like, hey, what is that? But it's very nice for every day. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to the grocery store, running your errands, this is a great fragrance to put on. It's light and airy, but it definitely makes you, it's very feminine, you know what I mean? So I would highly recommend this for a nice everyday, um, not too in your face scent. Okay, so this next one that I have isn't exactly very, it's not in your face springtime, but I like to call this a casual evening scent. So this is Replica's or Mason Margiela's Replica Coffee Break. So it does not smell like coffee at all, although the keynotes say that coffee is the number one keynote. I don't get coffee from this at all, but there's also lavender in this, and I feel like the lavender takes over. To me, this scent is very floral, in my personal opinion. It does have a very light musk to it, which grounds it very well. It is a unisex fragrance, just to put it out there, so it's not super duper feminine or super masculine, in my opinion, but it is a stronger scent, for sure, which is why I consider this to be like a nighttime casual. It definitely could be an everyday scent for some. Me, personally, no, but I do think it's very fresh and heavy, if that makes sense. It's got a fresh scent that is very strong and present, which is why I say I like to wear this personally on outings during the evening when, but not too special, like something super casual, like, oh, you guys wanna go grab drinks really quick? Cool, let me throw this on. It smells super good. People are definitely gonna be like, what is that? Because it's such a, funky scent. I don't know how to describe it, but again, all the keynotes and everything are going to be right here, but I definitely think this is good for the alternative lady, someone who doesn't like something too sweet um, or too feminine. I, I really like this. Oh, up next, I don't know what took me so long to get onto this fragrance. It's by Giorgio Armani. It is C. Um, I have again the, I believe this is the 1.7. Yep, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce and this is $98 for this size. I don't know what took me so long to get onto this fragrance. This smells so good. This is a fragrance that I just feel like is timeless. You will never want to take it out of your collection. You can honestly wear this all year round in my personal opinion, um, but I definitely wanted to put it in for the spring and summertime because I haven't talked about this fragrance to you guys before. And I was like, I need to tell them about this. I actually have it on right now. <laughs> so it is a fruity floral type of scent. I believe there is a very heavy note of rose in here. I smell the rose a lot and I'm actually not a huge fan of rose, which sounds weird because I have another fragrance in here that is like rose to death. But on my skin, it smells so good. But like when I come to like rose waters and different rose scented things, I'm like, I don't really like that. But on my skin, absolutely love. And I also like this because it has this, I don't think it's musk. I Maybe like a woody, like something that just really grounds it and gives it that oomph to where it's still a strong scent. I wouldn't consider this light and airy at all. I would definitely consider this a very heavy, floral, like, strong scent definitely a nighttime scent in my personal opinion or just like depending on the vibe you want to give but you can wear it all day let me not say it's nighttime but ah, it's a very capturing strong scent for sure so check out the notes that i have right over here um, in case you're interested but i love this fragrance okay so this next one is a very new to my collection but i can't stop wearing it um, I was introduced to this scent from my good girl, Kyra. If you guys don't know who Kyra Amonique is, I don't know where you've been, but she put me onto this and you guys, I can't stop wearing it. It is Bitter Peach from Tom Ford. This is a small, this is a 1.7 and this was $350. I don't know what, I don't know what Tom Ford got going on. I don't understand, but it's worth it. <laughs> I actually think I need to go buy the bigger bottle. So let me just tell you, I do not like artificial peach smells it just gives barf it gives very much throw up but this 
girl and it's weird when i wear this i feel like it smells different all throughout the day i feel like at every stage of me wearing this scent it smells different and i know that sounds very weird but when i first put it on it smells a certain way and then later on throughout the day it smells completely different and this lasts on the skin like nobody's business okay your clothes are gonna smell like this Tom Ford's fragrances, in my opinion, are, I get why they're expensive because in my opinion, they're very superb. Like this stuff holds, it does not go away. It never comes off. Like it is there, okay? So obviously the keynotes in this are peach and then there's patchouli as well. And there's actually a rum infused oil in this fragrance that gives it this, the bitterness. So the bitter part of the bitter peach, because it is very bitter. You would think that this is gonna be overtly sweet, but it is not. The bitter is very strong. It's it's very deep and, and strong in scent. So um, that rum infused oil that they use, I read up on it, it really comes through and it really makes the fragrance. Like seriously, I, even if you don't wanna buy, I highly would suggest everyone go smell this, but don't just smell it in the bottle, put it on your skin because I feel like it smells different on everybody. Like, and like I said, I feel like it starts to smell different on yourself all throughout the day. So I would highly suggest everyone test this out. Oh, I'm so excited for this next one. I have been obsessed with this fragrance. I have to make myself stop wearing it since I've got it and I've only had it for maybe two weeks. But you guys, it is that freaking good. So Brie and Kyra put me onto this one. I'm like, how come everybody was wearing it and didn't tell me? <laughs> this is Twilly by Hermes. Listen, okay, look. This right here, girl, this right here, you wanna talk about longevity, never coming off? This. I'm talking, you know, after a while, you don't really smell your own fragrance anymore. You get kind of used to it. No, like I be smelling this all day. I'll get in my car and I'm like, oh, I, I can smell me again. Like this never comes off. It's on your skin forever. So I have the 1.6 fluid ounce bottle here and this goes for $107. The keynotes in this are ginger, saddlewood, and tuberose, tuberose, however you say it. I would definitely consider this a floral scent, but it is very spicy. That ginger in the keynotes pulls through very heavily and I love it. Now I tell people, it is not in the scent description at all, I went looking, but it has this under note of cucumber to me, which gives it this very like freshness, which is why I love it for the spring and summer but it's nowhere in the notes. Like it is not listed to have anything cucumber at all, but I don't care what they said, girl. There is an under note of cucumber in this. Okay, like it don't say it, but it's there. I don't care. I said it and I meant what I said. This fragrance right here is amazing. Honestly, if you take anything away, I, I, it's hard for me to rank them, but this one right now, I can't stop wearing it. I cannot stop wearing it. I have to force myself because I don't want to run out. Alrighty, up next is a very heavily floral scent. I do not wear this as often, but I think that this is great for the girls who do like a very feminine, floral, sweet scent, and it is Miss Dior Roses and Roses. Um, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle, I believe, and this goes for 85. The keynotes in this are obviously rose, and then there's mandarin and white musk. Um, the musk is not very heavy in my opinion at all. This is just a straight up floral scent. I wouldn't even give it fruity floral floral because of the mandarin. It is just floral. Um, and not in a bad way. It's in a good, it's very light, airy. I would wear this during the daytime, like I said, for day events personally. Um, but if you are someone who really enjoys very feminine and sweet floral scents, you will really, really like this. Um, I don't pull for it as often, but I definitely wanted to include it in this video because it is perfect for springtime, like perfect. So, all right, up next I have Cartier Panther. Okay, I got a sample of this. I have to give you backstory. I got a sample of this when I got my Cartier bracelet and I smelled this and I was like, oh my God, it smells so good, but it smells completely different in the bottle than what it smells like on your skin. And I'm just keeping it a buck. Like in the bottle to me, it gives grandma. I can't lie. But on the skin, oh, oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so this bottle is $140. This is the 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. I said 140, right? I feel like I didn't say that. The keynotes are gardenia and musk. So it is, like I said, it is a floral scent. Um, but the 
there's this undernote of something that pulls it away from the, the florals a little bit and gives it that nice oomph that you need in a scent to make it strong if you will um it's definitely got this touch of masculinity to it which i love um i would wear this day and night i think it's a very versatile fragrance and it just smells so good it's very airy light it's not too heavy um and it stays on the skin really 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 well so all right y'all i have one last fragrance for you and it is definitely a favorite of mine i have made myself stop wearing it because i refuse to run out of this bottle it is by mason francis <laughs> Girl, y'all know who I'm talking about. Okay, this this guy. Okay, and this is the Gentle Fluidity Gold. I do not like the silver at all. This is gold, okay? And this fragrance goes for $225. This is such a sweet and spicy, fresh scent. It is addicting. Like, my boyfriend, know, like, when he smells this, he's like, that's your fragrance. You wear that all the time. And I had to stop wearing it because, oh, it is addicting. So the keynotes in this are juniper berry girl whatever the hell that is i don't know juniper berry nutmeg definitely can smell that coriander definitely can smell that and vanilla like i said it is an extremely sweet scent this scent is sweet there is no other way to describe it it is very sweet just straight up sweet there is nothing masculine about it. It is it is feminine and sweet but alluring you just want to keep smelling this if you are looking for a fragrance to make people be like, who is that? It's this one. This is the one. Out of all of the ones I've showed you, if you want people to turn their heads and be like, who the hell is that? What is that? What is that? This is the one. This is the one. And this stuff never, like, I know I told y'all the other ones last on the skin too, the Tom Ford and the, the Hermes one, but this lasts on the skin so well like nobody's business, okay? It'll be on your clothes, in your car, like, it is it is a lingering scent for sure absolutely love this scent it is amazing it is just such a feminine but it's it's a very very feminine but powerful feminine if you will like it's alluring like if you smell somebody with this on like you're you're gonna be like what is that like women men whoever people are going to want to smell you they're going to want to know about you because of this fragrance like i'm not kidding go smell it i don't like the silver I'm sorry, I don't like that one at all, but this gold, who baby, amazing, amazing. Alrighty y'all, so that is it for this fragrance video. I hope you guys enjoy. You know, I know I'm not the most technical with the terms, but you know, I feel like I help you catch the vibe of what it's giving. So I hope this helped you pick a new spring or summer fragrance if you were in the market for one, or kind of give you some ideas of what to go for. Um, but yeah, I love filming fragrance videos, even though I know nothing about like the technical stuff, but I just love telling you guys about what I like smelling like. I don't know, it's just fun. So everything, all of the fragrances are gonna be linked down below. The links are probably affiliate links, so if you are not in the business of getting me paid, do not click them, just search the fragrance names. But I will have them all linked down below for you guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.